Uh, hello, everybody. It's Faith from Fire Center. I hope everyone is well. I'm here on New Year's Eve trying to knock out as many of these as I can before um, probably, I don't know, like 11, 11, 15 tonight. Then I will go out and join the rest of the family for the countdown to midnight, countdown to the end of 2020. We're all super excited around here, let me tell you. Um, it's just been a year. I think it's been a year for everybody, but it is what it is. It's all part of the journey, right? You take the good with the bad and the bad with the worse, and you just do the best you can. That was a ten of wands, by the way. Releasing the burden, ending of the cycle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's throw them down for Virgo. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For your holiday season read, if it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do what you choose to do with the message given by the cards. Do you choose to do anything at all? It's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. Five Pentacles popped out. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon Rising or Venus sign readings. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Four swords reversed. And the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sun Tarot table. Just another friendly reminder. If it's not your story, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take what doesn't belong to you. That's how fights get started. Double reversed. Okay. Let's see if these cards come back out. Stop trouble. Neon has finally come back to join me this evening. <laughs> Your hands are a little full, kiddo. <laughs> Don't come out. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Virgo, why are you here? Hanged man could be a Pisces you're dealing with. Uh, could be accepting of the fate of a situation. Seeing things from the other person's perspective. Maybe how do you feel about the person you're dealing with? The star in the reverse. There's been a lack of healing. Could be an Aquarius you're disconnecting from, possibly. I feel like they haven't healed from something. What do you think of them? Eight of Cups reversed. Oh boy. Oh boy. Either you or they want to make the comeback around. Oh gosh. Things aren't always so green on the other side of the river, are they? What do you want from them? Eight of Swords. <laughs> We're going to clarify that. I don't understand why you would want someone to be in a cage of their own thoughts. How do they feel about you? Five of Wands, they could possibly see you as a confrontational person. It was always a fight. I'm hearing it was always a fight. There was always an argument. What do they think of you? Five of Cups reversed. Coming out of the state of sadness. Accepting the situation. What do they want from you? Ten of Swords, they want the pain to end. Okay. What's the conflict here? What are the fortune in the reverse? Karmic. Hmm. Hmm. Resolution. The fool. Trusting one's own judgment, trusting the journey. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get a little clarity on the cards in the table for Virgo, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for their holiday reading. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hey, 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 don't you dare. I'm wearing the, uh, many flowery yoga pants. I love these. These aren't the ones I got for Christmas. These are the other pair, but... Did, did you notice I was wearing my fleece? The shorts? I... I... <laughs> did you just feel like you needed to match... Uh, yeah, pink with pink. <laughs> Purple. 
This is my outfit that goes with this. We're thing. in Michigan. It's perfectly acceptable to wear basketball shorts over your fleece leggings. Perfectly acceptable to do that here. And it's cute. It is adorable. You can so do that here. All right. Oh, the lovers came out. Could be a Gemini you're dealing with. Possibly someone having stronger feelings than the other. It is a soulmate card, so it would make sense with the wheel reverse being a karmic. Because sometimes karmic soulmates are the ones that teach us the biggest lessons. Keep that in mind. Mm, ah. Somebody could have been torn between two lovers. Possibility. Maybe that's Ooh, why it's so painful. Action. What? Soap opera action. Soap opera action. It's always a soap opera here. And no, this is not champagne. I don't mix booze and cards. Usually. Usually. At least not when I'm reading for the channel. I try not to do that. Shadow side came out. Yeah. It's a, mm. Could be a card of Capricorn. Could be a card. I mean. That does kind of go with the Cage in Your Own Thoughts card. Eight of Swords. It's that all up in our head, but we put ourselves there. Virgo's good at that, though. Wow. I'm just saying. Don't be blasting. Be nice. I'm just saying. It's New Year's. Be nice. Every sign has their one they flaw. They have their one flaw. That might be one of them. I mean, if you can call that a flaw... They do kind of get all googly-eyed every once in a while. Hmm. Why is the star reversed here? How the other person... Uh, how Virgo feels about the person they're dealing with. Why is the star reversed here? <sighs> Natty Cops! Mm, Non-committal Bob. Here's my cup. I have this cup for you. Maybe that's why somebody's having a little bit of trouble healing because somebody just came in with the cup and then left right away. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. A little bit. Kind of like ding dong ditch. Ding dong ditch. With a cup. With a cup. Why is the eight of cups reversed here for how Virgo feels about the other person? There's three cards here. Four of Swords, Queen of Cups, Justice Reversed. You're laying it to rest. You still have a great deal of emotion for this person. But it wasn't fair. And maybe that's why... I don't know if this Eight of Cups is a physical... You feel like somebody's returning to the situation. Or you keep revisiting the situation. But with this Justice Reversed, it wasn't fair. The playing field was not level. Why is Eight of Swords here for what Virgo wants from the other person, of the other person, for the other person? You're acting like you want to talk. Page of Pentacles. Oh my. Are apologies in order? The Page of Pentacles can indicate apologies. I think you'd feel a little bit better, Virgo, if you at least got an I'm sorry. Hmm. I'm sorry I just ding-dong ditched with this cup here. That might help the healing process a little bit. I mean, again, I don't... I wasn't there. I don't know who did what. I don't know who said what. You could be the one needing to apologize. I mean... Throw one more on that. Eight 
Ace of Pentacles. But there could be some of you that just, you know, want that slow, slow growing seed to actually grow into something. But keep in mind, it may not have been meant to. If it is, it is. If it's meant to grow, one day it will grow. If it is not, the seed will die in the ground. It is what it is. It's part of the journey. Like Grandma always said, what is meant to be will be, one way or another. But that's not up to you. At least not always. Why is the Five of Wands here for how the other person feels about Virgo? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm hearing everything was a confrontation and you never wanted to talk things out. Page of Swords reversed. Dang! Or somebody always had to get the last word? One more. Knight of Swords reversed. Ah! Ah! We're going to fight like cats and dogs about it for five minutes and we're never going to talk about it again. Is that also totally a Virgo thing? Yeah. That's totally a Virgo thing. That or they just completely avoid the situation altogether. So something that they should be fighting about, they're not talking about. Yeah, they just... They don't it's an internal like, battle at that point. Mm. Yeah, they don't really like... I think it's kind of, in a way, just the nurse sign thing. They'd rather not deal with that stuff. It's like, you know what? I, I It's not worth... They don't feel like it's worth their energy to deal with I want to punch you in the throat, but we're not going to talk about this. I'm going to internalize this anger right now. Mm. I'm so spitting mad at you, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Why is the Five of Cups first here for... What Virgo, th or sorry, what the other person thinks of Virgo. The tower. What fell on the floor? Four cups reversed. Nope. That is not um, coming out of a state of sadness at all. That is just letting the tower fall around them. It's fine. Everything's fine. The tower is crumbling around us, but I'm going to ignore it because this is fine. We know a Virgo like that. We know, I know, I know one in particular that we both know mutually. I know a couple Virgos like that. Everything's fine. Um, I feel like that's what my Virgo, uh, like, Virgo Venus and my Virgo completely Mars, ignored what was going on. Just totally accepted whatever was going to come. But there's still a pull there. there. There's still that that pull. There's still that soul bond. Be it karmic or whatever, it's still there. All right, what is, why is the Ten of Swords here for what the other person wants of Virgo for Virgo? Oh, gosh finally landed on temperance. Make peace with it. Wow, that's almost stoic. Let's let the sun come out and the rainbow shine through. Let's let the storm end. Let's communicate better. Let's get along better. One more on that. Oh, King of Pentacles. Wow. Dang. I'm good for a second. Dang. Wow, Virgo.
Well, by the looks of things, they want to give you that stunning offer. They want to give you what you want. Could be an apology, could be a stunning offer. But y'all may need to like talk this through if you're gonna like jump off that cliff together again. You need to acknowledge the downward turn of events, the, the Wheel of Fortune reversed here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed here? Obviously there was a downward turn of events if there was internalized anger and a crum crumbling tower. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed here for Virgo? Oh my gosh, come on. Oh, we got some cards here. We got some cards here. We got we got a card. We got two. We got two. Four of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. It's not explaining it. One more. King of Wands. You know that argument that you've been avoiding? You may just need to have it. King of Wands can represent confrontation. It can represent something else too, but we're not going to go there. I try to keep this as PG-13 as possible. It can represent things of a certain nature, sugar and spice, everything nice. We're not going there any farther. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know what I'm talking about. I'm thinking that's confrontation. Four wands plus one wand is five. And with this queen of pentacles, there's abundance here. There's possibilities here. So why the downward t cycle of events? Is this something that you didn't talk about? It was, it was it a fight that was avoided? Give me one more on that. I want one more. I want one more. Could have been a little bit of both, depending on who I'm talking to here. It is swords reversed. Mm-hmm. Somebody's been internalizing, just be out with it. Eight of Swords. Out with it already. The Eight of Swords can represent. It's not exactly like the monsters under your bed or the monsters. It's not the Nine of Swords, but it's almost the Nine. You're looking at me like I have lobsters crawling out of my ears right now. <laughs> the Nine of Swords is like that thing that keeps you up at night. You haven't slept. You have things on your mind. Ah! The Eight of Swords is the... I'm in a cage, but it's a self-imposed cage that I made myself. And I can walk out of this cage anytime I want because my feet are not bound. Only my arms and my eyes are. I can still walk if I'm blindfolded and my arms are tied to my body. I just can't see where I'm going. So you need to take the blindfold off and wheel yourself out and walk out of the cage. And by doing that, you may have to have that confrontation or that fight that you've been avoiding. You may have to let the tower fall. And sometimes when you let the tower fall, you see what you're going to be missing. You see the pentacles that you're not going to have in your life. Uh, inevitably, they just want it resolved. The tower falling is not necessarily a bad thing. Exactly. The tower crumbling is not a bad thing. You can always rebuild it. You can always rebuild the tower. 
But you have to acknowledge that there's a tower. You can't keep ignoring the tower. It's fine! Everything's fine! No, it's not! It's like that picture with the dog. Everything's on fire and it's just sitting there. The fire, in this case, is the tower. <laughs> Everything's Probably fine! No, it's not around fine! Them. No, it's not fine. You have to acknowledge the chaos around you at some point, Virgo. And you have, but only you have the power to do anything about it. But you have to take the blindfold off and see it. You have to acknowledge that it is there. Why is the fool here for a possible resolution? Follow your instincts, High Priestess. What are your instincts telling you to do? Get in touch. Get in tune. The High Priestess can also represent a soulmate connection. Another soulmate card. Another major arcana. Wow. Two of Pentacles. That's another one. That is being in balance with each other. Two more Pentacles. The king and the queen coming into balance. Hmm. Trust each other. I'm hearing trust each other. Hmm. Outcome? High Priestess reversed. Oh, I don't like that. Clarifier. Clarifier. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Some of you may disconnect to reconnect, if that makes any sense. Advice. Six of Wands, Nine of Cups. Return, find happiness, Prince of Wands, Ten of Cups. Okay. You might have to take a break. Hmm. Virgo, what have you gotten yourself into? You may have to just let the tower fall and let be what be and accept the fated situation and see if that old pentacle comes back. At the very least, even if you don't come back together in a romantic setting, get to a point where you can get along better? Have positive energy between you? Sometimes that's even a good place to be in. Especially with a soulmate because you know, you came down to play the game for a reason, right? And sometimes you play the game together in one lifetime more than once. I don't know, Virgo. This was confusing, but this was your reading. Happy holidays. Let me know if it resonated. Getting it back on track next week. 2021 is going to be full of amazing things here at Fire Sun Tarot. I just got to get my health under control and keep the arthritis at bay. My hands are already starting to be grumpy with me because I've thrown down some cards tonight. So I'm just going to keep going for as hard as I can go. Love you. Take care. And I'll catch you next time.